Hi guys, we're back again and we're going to be doing number two of the maths, the CSEC maths May June paper three exam. So let's get right into it. Um, for this question, what I would have done is I printed the paper so that I could have measured um the height because if part A requires us to measure to actually measure the height. Um, so this might be a little bit off because again, it depends on the scaling that the, the actual exam paper was printed. And uh, the copy that I have is not the best. So when I would have measured, I got 2.5 as the height, right? 2.5 centimeters as the height, All right? So we're going to work with that. Um, again, it might be a little bit off, so follow the concept, right? So the height is 2.5. They want us to determine the actual distance. The scale that they gave us is that one centimeter represents three meters, Right, so if one centimeter represents three meters, then 2.5 centimeters, you're gonna multiply that by three and you're gonna get 7.5. So that's 7.5 meters. Yeah, so let's go on. The section CDE of the play field is a children's playground. What is CDE? C to D to E, so that's a triangle here. Um, what is the amount of material in square meters? Right, again, pay attention to the bolded parts of the question. In square meters, that is needed. Right, so we're going to convert that to meters one time. Right, um, again, I would have measured, and when I did my measurements, right, I got here as eight centimeters. I got e, e as three point five centimeters. Right, I think that's what I needed to measure. Right. So we are going to calculate, basically they want us to calculate the area of the triangle. Formula of area, base by height divided by two, or half base by height, same thing, right? So base by height over two. What is the base of the triangle? Based on my measurements, I got eight, multiplied by the height, which is 2.5, right? Um, we divide by two, right? However, what we need to make sure and pay attention to is the fact that this measurement is in centimeters. They want it in square meters, right? So I'm just going to convert it to the meters one time. Remember, we have a scale here, right? We have a scale here, which is that one centimeter represents three meters, right? So eight trees are 24. Multiply by 2.5 by three. We just work that 7.5. Right, and then we're going to divide by two. Right, so 24 by 7.5, that's 180 divided by two, which is going to give us 90 meters squared. Right. Or um, you could have worked at the regular way, Eight, point, 8 by 2.5 divided by 2. Just remember, when you get that answer, you're going to multiply that by 3, right? Because we have to make sure and take into consideration the scale. There's a circular pool on the play field. The pool has a diameter of 36 meters. Calculate as represented on the scale drawing the circumference of the pool. Right, so circumference. How do we calculate circumference? Diameter by pi or 2 pi r. In this case, we have the diameter, so we're going to say diameter by pi. Diameter is 36. The question told us to use pi as 22 over 7, so please, in your working, put 22 over 7 and do not put 3.14. So 36 multiplied by 22 over 7. Right, this is easy, squeeze. We put this in the calculator. 36 by 22, right? We divide that by 7, right? They did not exactly tell us um if they wanted us to wrong, right? So I'm just going to put this 113. I'll put it to two decimal places, right? For one. Points one meter. Good. Calculate the area of the pool now. So again, we have the diameter, but the formula for area, pi r squared. Right, my PC. Let me just get my charger.
right? So pi r squared, <clears throat> we have the diameter of 36. Your radius is half of the diameter. So again, 22 over 7 multiplied by um, half of 36 will give us 18. <clears throat> 18 squared. All right, again, this is going straight in our calculators, right? 22 over 7 multiplied by 18 squared. That is going to give you roughly 1,018. Point three meters squared. Okay, the last part of the question a straight path CP crosses AB at P. The path is equidistant, so it's of equal distance from CB and CD. Right, we're using a rule on a pair of compasses only. Right, so you have to have your geometry set. Okay, so we're back again with the final part of the question. My battery died, but we're back again. Right, we're on track. So we're going to draw that straight path um, that's equidistant from CB and CD, like I said before. So you're going to have to have your geometry set and be able to use your compass, right? I think that everybody can use a ruler, but you have to be able to use that compass, right? That's the one where you place the pencil in and you screw it tight with the pointy part to the other end. So we're going to go back up to the diagram, right? It's equidistant from CB and CD, right? So we're saying we have CB here on this side, and then we have CD on that side, right? The path has to cross through the line AB, and it also has to cross through the point C because the point, the, the line that we're going to be creating is labeled CP, right? So we are going to take your compass. You're going to put the pointy part of the compass at the point D. Just erase these lines that are wrong, right? So you're going to place the pointy part of the compass at the point D, and you're going to draw a nice big arc, right? That arc is going to come, oops. Sure, a nice arc, right? It's going to look something like that. Let me draw this arc a little better than this. Right. Then without adjusting the distance of the compass that you currently have, whatever distance is currently open that, you're going to keep that distance and you are going to place the pointy part at the point B. Right, and you're going to draw another arc. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your ruler, right? And you are going to see if I can get my ruler here. Yeah. So you're going to take your ruler and you're going to draw a straight line, right? That's going to go through where the two arcs would have bisected and it's also going to pass through the point C, right? So you're going to take that ruler and you're going to draw a straight line. Right, you're going to label that point where it would have intersected P, right? So we have line C, P. Right, and that is it for paper three of the 2024 maths examination for CSEC.